Actors cannot use stuntmen. Audience can see well enough to discern body types. They can't use doubles for the same reason. They can't use step stools or other methods of framing actors of varying body types into a frame. The visual language of the storytelling has to change. Sorry, Danny DeVito. Um, guide wires, brain is smart enough to recognize when content is missing from a shot. Uh, example, Tom Cruise realized this with the challenge of presenting Mission Impossible in the VR space. Therefore, he is becoming a helicopter pilot and taking on his own stunts. The guy's crazy, but he's, at least he understands what the challenge of the VR medium, um, to, to his, um, to his art, he has to become a better artist as a result. Uh, cautionary note, stuntmen will become stars in VR. Actors will become stage performers in VR. People with talents, abilities are the new stars. The audience is harder to fool, so actors have to work harder to entertain. Uh, three, the benefits. The benefits of VR. No need to change perspective, make multiple cuts. The audience will always be distracted by the environment, birds, sounds, etc. So the need to cut the, for the purpose of keeping the audience awake and satisfied will go away. Artists of VR will find other ways to keep audience enthralled or distracted. Okay, so no need for um, 1.2 uh, second shots. Um, no need to, to keep cutting. Um, editors will have to be planners. They cannot be, uh, they can't work in the past tense of the, they can't work in the post-production of a film the way they used to. They will work in the pre-production. They will become, uh, they can't become, be oil painters anymore. They'll have to be acrylic painters. They will have to think about their content, about what the director is doing and being able to plan for the director, how they're going to tell the story when they come up with, uh, when they start to, to take shots. So editors will become different sorts of people in the context of VR. They will no longer, they, if they do any editing, it won't be the way they used to do it, where they just had multiple takes of stuff and being able to bring it all together and to tell the story uh, if there's not enough uh, content there they're going to have to think of other ways of bringing the content together. Um, in an effort to fill space, more people will be needed, more art, more props. VR will drive a new economy. Bollywood productions and the long lost of art of musical will gain resurgence in VR as it will discern big productions from small productions. So those guys with money, um, stop, stop acting like you're, you're, working on a small uh, on a small scale start thinking big think about how many people you're going to hire to be involved in the production you're going to not focus on cg anymore you're going to be focusing on how many people can i get involved in the story in the storytelling uh can uh, we need to make musicals okay we need to go back to the to making musicals and making very big productions, okay? What, Bollywood is gonna kick our ass in VR, okay? Um, avatars of VR communities such as Allspace VR become, will come to the realization that having more mocap uh, to gain more believable bodies in the VR space will be make them into DIY CG cinematographers, actors, as they solve the problem of mocap, they become animators, filmmakers, at the very least, simple Oculus Go user is one arm puppet. Most Muppets are, and keep in mind, a puppet artist uses a wire suspended hand that is not unlike a three doth Go controller. I can see a comeback of the Muppet Show, uh, of the Muppet Show which is a vaudevillian musical production. There will be more Muppet shows in VR. So guys in the Jim Henson circle, uh, talk amongst yourselves how you're going to make VR uh, Jim Henson's uh, comeback uh, out of the grave. He is going to come back 
with a vengeance in this new medium and present lots of Muppets, okay? Vaudeville will come back from the dead, overcome Hollywood, gives new meaning to the Night of the Living Dead. Night of the Living Dead will come back from the dead. Uh, living Dead type movies will will have uh, and will really work well in VR. Anything where you've got lots of people, you've got lots of things to keep the uh, the audience distracted to tell a story, where there's stuff everywhere. That is what's going to really sell this this medium. Um, cause of the vulnerabilities people have to traumatize from VR horror VR will be much more potent and effective than 2D horror ever was. The experience uh, horror fans will get a feel what it's like to be a victim in a movie. Beheadings will be frequent. The audience will experience things they could not experience in a passive 2D movie. Um, VR brings people together in ways no other medium has. It's more personal in nature. So um, VR is um, the the um, the campfire storytelling uh, VR will bring back, and other things that VR brings back um, is or other other things that VR will do is it'll create a new kind of storytelling. Uh, interactive art of storytelling um even where you, the audience shifts or focus could even uh shape the form of the story like if they're looking off in this direction a long time and then they look around over here they'll see somebody that they didn't see before but when they look back over here something else will be there that they've never they they did see the first time around i've seen an example of people using this vehicle um, that will come about in VR. Um, so just keep aware of what you can do to tell the story, to bring people back into the experience and keep them enthralled in uh, telling stories in VR.